होटल रिजर्वेशन सिस्टम हाउ आर वी गोइंग टू मेक दी सीक्वेंस डायग्राम ऑफ दिस सो दिस इज द स्नैपशॉट ऑफ हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू मेक इट विल फर्स्ट स्टार्ट विद दी एक्चुअल सिनेरियो वेन एवर यू विल गो टू अटेल यू विल बी कॉल्ड एज अ गेस्ट सो यू आर एन एक्टर देर विल बी अ रिसेप्शनिस्ट सो देर विल बी अ रिसेप्शन रिसेप्शन विल ऑल्सो बी एन एक्टर एंड देर विल बी ए सॉफ्टवेयर से होटल मैनेजमेंट सॉफ्टवेयर होटल रिजर्वेशन सॉफ्टवेयर this is the actual software we are talking about we assume that first room has to be available then there will be the identification of the guest and finally there will be the payment so payment will be done beforehand this is what we are assuming right now we are trying to make a very basic kind of sequence diagram we are not going into the detail so we need to uh, write actors here so we will make a box here and we will mark it or show it indicated with a stick man diagram stick man diagram so the guest is actor first as i told you there will be one more actor because actor receptionist is interacting with the with your software so it is reception reception is also an actor so there are two actors here and the third will be your software actual sequence diagram these boxes are made with a class name and object there will be a box there will be a colon in between so right hand you will write the class name the left hand you will write the object actual sequence diagram you are going to make like this but let us make it simple so there will be, there are two actors one is a guest one is a reception now there will be a room list system whether room is available or not this is room list system then there will be a reservation system so the final reservation system that is the back end actual payment detail all these things will be done by this reservation system so first is the box which you made second is the lifeline lifeline is very important because if you go to cartesian coordinate system if we take the positive x axis and negative y axis this lifeline is represented the negative y axis that is the timeline lifeline is actually a timeline the so first guest will ask for the room so there will be query room availability So now the, now the guest is asking the reception whether the room is available or not. The reception will will do what? It will go to the room list system. It will ask for the availability. So it will check for the availability. So this checking of availability is you don't have to go to reservation system because room list system will tell this. So now the room is available or not available. This is being told to guest by whom? Receptionist. Receptionist will give the this arrow back. this is a reply message and that will be room available now the guest can do two things it can say okay the room is good i will take it or it will say no so there will be a box if else box two row box and you have to put it on these three lifeline but i am not going into the detail right now so we will assume that the guest confirms okay i want this room because the guest is confirming the room and the guest is going to stay in that room now the criteria will be okay give us the detail so once the confirmation is being done by the guest the next question or next thing the reception will ask is client details it can be your social security number aadhar card pan number any kind of id which is acceptable so request client details this is by reception to guest now guest will do what it will confirm the details these are my identification id reception will go to the room list system and will provisionally book the room because still the payment is not done so provisionally book is uh, say booked room is booked here the first time reservation system will come into play and that will be creating of reservation since it is just the provisional but it has to go to reservation system so it will create a reservation you can say new client new guest and there will be creation of reservation and now the price because the guest is going to stay so the reservation system will tell the price and reception will see the price and tell it back or advise it back to the customer this is the price so advise customer of price once the guest is knowing about the price is known about the price it will confirm the booking so once the booking is confirmed payment detail will be asked means the reception will ask how are you going to pay credit card cash or any other mode of payment so it will ask for the payment details so it will request for the payment details once the request 
is the done the guest will give the payment detail okay this is my payment details once the payment is being done and how this has to be done it will go to the room list it will reserve the actual room previously it was provisional now it is final reservation and then the reservation system which is the actual system or actual part you can say will confirm the reservation and once this receptionist will confirm the reservation from the reservation system finally the intimation is given back to the guest that okay your book your this booking is being done or the reservation is confirmed so this is our very basic step i have taken i have not taken uh, different kind of symbols etc notation because there are many final important thing is the activation bar on the lifeline where whenever this guest is active that box or you can say rectangle box with the length is quite high here this is has to be placed on this lifeline from here to here wherever these arrow marks you see so this is how you are going to put a activation bar then here also same thing wherever these this, this is active receptionist is active and finally room list system and reservation system reservation system is active for a for a smaller span of time okay i hope you got the idea of reservation system thank you so much take care of yourself